What is going on, Lucid fans? Welcome back to Fanatic Journey. So today I want to give you a good summary of everything you need to know, go over some updated data points, very relevant to a lot of investors, and tie it all together with some technical analysis. But you guys know the deal. Before I get into any of that, though, smash your thumbs up and subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. And also, don't forget to pop over to my Discord. Link in the description below. It's a free chat, a lot of good people. And with that said, let's get right to it. So looking quickly at that intraday chart, it has been, uh, how do I say this optimistically, it's been fun. So especially more so for a Thursday slash Friday, whatever you want to call it. Live ticker to my left, it is currently down roughly about four and a half percent, 11.3 million as far as overall volume. So that hands down definitely stands out. It is a lot lower than what we're even used to, which in general is fairly low. 50.9 million is the average and that is a six month average and 425,000 shares being purchased by institutions just today alone. And even in that regard, it is fairly low. But one thing as well, I just want to draw your attention to is the number of trades 94,000 that abnormally is a little bit higher so that is good to see possibly as well but when it comes down to it though we are largely down because of economic data more specifically retail sales it was a lot lower than expected and ultimately the market never really likes anything where it shows and dictates what consumers have whether it be the non-farm payroll or the retail sales whenever it is linked to consumers and it is negative the market absolutely hates that especially considering a lot of things such as lucid is very much driven by consumers needing money and having money so that's one of the biggest things that's causing us and a lot of other growth stocks to go down and unfortunately it is killing a lot of the actual technicals especially we have been working up and making a lot of progress over the last little bit but like i said i just want to go over some updates starting with short interest 20.04 is the short interest pretty stagnant from one week prior utilization is 100 shows 100 of the available shares too short are currently out day by day change it is it's actually down 0.41%, which works out to be 1.03 million shares being returned. Cost to borrow average is 5.34%. So in reality, that's been a little fairly low, especially for what we're used to. So it is interesting to see that shorts are closing out the positions, yet cost to borrow is also going down because usually they are actually inverse because typically when cost to borrow goes down, short interest usually goes up in theory, at least that's what typically happens. But so this is a little bit more of an abnormality. How I see this as a bullish sign because it's not really worth the risk at these levels. But keep in mind though, I am not a financial advisor, so do your own due diligence. Looking at options activity, today is a very interesting day. Right now, $1.72 million worth of options being done with 0% positive. So that definitely isn't that good in my opinion. And you can even see over the last little bit, the puts have gone down. But most likely, especially once this chart does update for the following day, it will start to revert back because yesterday there was $8.08 .08 million worth of options being done and 52% positive. So yesterday was a very good day, but unfortunately big economic data comes out and it didn't really help anything. But looking at 13 Fs, I do strongly feel in the next couple of weeks, this is gonna be something that you definitely need to watch for. Institutions declaring their positions in Lucid. And when it comes down to it though, I strongly feel a lot of institutions are gonna be showing that they did in fact increase their position, especially more so the big names. Right now there is a lot of institutions showing some of their positions, obviously some close some add but when it comes down to it these are very small fish at the end of the day the big ones that we're looking for ultimately are right here so piff piff is going to be a very big one vanguard and those are all ultimately coming tail end of april early may so that definitely will be something for us to watch for and like i said when it comes down to the technicals so on the actual chart i have the 5100 200 day moving averages boiling bands rsi stochastic and momentum so overall pretty good representation everything you need to know looking at momentum we are actually still down so number of buyers is going down on a daily basis despite the actual number of trades is up so that's very interesting so it shows that there is ultimately a lot of swing traders taking advantage of the volatility when it comes down to lucid stochastic is at seven which is extremely low shows that is oversold in my opinion and there is no defined trend as of right now rsi is currently at 37 and on the actual chart still lower percent of the boiling band but we are at a very pivotal point we're staring over at the top of a cliff right now because looking here we did officially break the s1 right now so which was 2175 1995 so that seems like it's kind of a sale thing but that's definitely not good ultimately that is something that we
we might be trading around and hopefully we don't touch that next week so it looks like as of today we will be officially within the s2 and the s1 we are with uh, other growth stocks because normally loose has been actually outperforming and doing fairly well compared to other growth stocks but it does look like lucid is getting hit quite hard today and ultimately it comes down to lucid is a long-term investment and you just need to keep that in mind but with all of that though let me know your thoughts on lucid in the comments below i just wanted to give you a quick update happy thursday slash friday whatever you want to call it i do strongly feel that there is going to be a lot of good things coming from lucid in 2022 just like i've always said it is going to be a fairly bumpy ride you just need to enjoy the ride as it goes and see lucid starting out how it is and see it develop more and more as it grows because everyone looks at tesla and looks up to it as a amazing company but when it started out it was by no means amazing at all so you just need to put that in perspective lucid is equivalent to that just enjoy the waves and just consider this a disney ride if you want to call it that and then ultimately years from now you will look up and then lucid will be that amazing company that everyone wants to buy and wishes that they bought more at this level but like i said with all that don't forget to smash your thumbs up subscribe do all that fun stuff greatly appreciate that if you do like my channel and support the growth take a look at my memberships link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen with all that said appreciate you guys watching let's all make a lot of money on lucid